What's going on here? You, senor? I don't understand. Every government has its secret service branch. America, its CIA, France, Desvien Bureau, England, MI5. But NATO also has its own. A messy job? Well, that's when they usually call on me, or someone like me. Oh, yes. My name is Drake. John Drake. I flew into San Pablo. All you could see from the air was banana trees and pineapples. The little state was the size of a pocket handkerchief. I uh, was traveling incognito. Uh, no baggage, senor? Oh, no, I uh, left in a, in a hurry. And may I ask why you visit our country, senor, in such a hurry? You may indeed. I am a treasury official of the United States of America. Ah, you have come to lend us money, senor? Perhaps. Then I must not waste your time. Eh? I'm obliged. Thank you very much. Oh, thanks very much, Mr. Hartley. I can assure you I'm not used to having an official reception. Well, I want you to know all the facts as soon as possible, Mr. Drake. I'm sure you know that this country has asked Uncle Sam for a sizable loan. There are a certain amount of senatorial comment in Washington. <laughs> Mostly unfavorable. Mostly. I gather it's too big a slice of lend-lease for so small a country. President Montoya insists that there's ample security. <laughs> Bananas and pineapples don't keep very well, do they? Gold, Mr. Drake. Ample gold locked up in the government vaults. That's why Washington quietly sent Arthur Winfield over here to check up on their finances and gold reserves. For the economics expert? One of our top authorities on international finances. We're on our way to his home right now. He has quite a reputation. We look forward to meeting him. Unfortunately, Mr. Drake, Winfield committed suicide. Do not search for my body. It does not deserve burial. Arthur... Winfield. You sure about the signature? It's Winfield's all right, no doubt about it. You say this was delivered to you at the embassy by the postman? The morning after Winfield disappeared. Oh, I, I beg your pardon, Mr. Hartley. I had no idea. It's all right, Jose. Come in. This is Mr. John Drake, the gentleman we've been expecting from the Treasury Department in Washington. Mr. Drake will be taking over Mr. Winfield's work. Jose San Diego here was working with Arthur Winfield. Well, I stop in every day. You know, there's still much work. Uh, ledgers to complete, documents to file. Mr. Drake will be staying here, Jose. Well, very good, sir. I'm sure you find it more comfortable than a hotel. Thank you. Besides, Uncle Sam has already paid the rent. Jose's been connected with the embassy for years. If there's anything you need, just ask him. Or well, even to a temporary wardrobe? From top hat to Tails. I suppose you and Mr. Winfield worked very closely together. We worked together. Did you see it coming? See what coming? His breakup. Sometimes, Mr. Drake, these things happen very suddenly. Oh, what about the gambling and all the uh, heavy drinking? A man's pleasure. Is this on a fair? And uh, all the ladies? I merely work with Arthur Winfield. Look, the, the police know it was suicide. Why are they so certain? I have no idea. This way, Mr. Drake. Thank you very much. This is the Minister of Police, Senor Ortiz. Come in, come in, Senor Drake. I am Esteban Ortiz, Minister sir? of Police. You do me great honor. Please, sit down. Oh, you sound as though you were expecting me. I was. <laughs> you even knew my name before I sent it in. John Drake, eh? Passport number 925920. Mm -hmm. You arrived by plane two hours ago. Uh -huh. And you've been with the American ambassador till just now. Oh, very good indeed. Uh, it is my business to know everything that happens in San Pablo. Everything? Oh, that's a very tall order, Mr. Minister. <laughs> I even know the real reason why you have come to our wonderful country. 
You'll come here, Senor Drake, to complete the investigation of Senor Winfield. Very good. My congratulations. Cigar? Thank you. Too bad about Senor Winfield. Eh? Great tragedy. But it is always the most brilliant minds are the first to crack. Well, I will try to be uh, not so brilliant. I believe I don't follow you. Oh, I was referring merely to uh, Senor Winfield's high life. Oh, yes, yes. It was a surprising revelation. If you know everything that goes on in San Pablo, Mr. Minister, it uh, shouldn't have been so surprising. I did not realize he was using our country's money. That was a surprise. Here, see for yourself. A complete record of our investigation. Names, dates, places, witnesses, everything. In fact, I neglected another case much nearer home. One of our brave policemen shot down by an unknown assassin. Very distressing. <laughs> Why do you refuse to see me? Because there is nothing further to report. It is because the police are doing nothing. My dear Senorita Vargas, we are doing everything possible. Everything? You have not even found his body. We cannot work miracles. The next time you force yourself into my office, we might keep you here. Show Senorita Vargas out. Please, Senorita. No more trouble, huh? Poor child. Her lover recently disappeared without any trace. It is left there. It appears to be one of your quaint or local customs. What is that? Uh, disappearing without trace. Perhaps I do not share your sense of humor, senor. Oh, no offense. I meant merely that you hadn't succeeded in finding senor Winfield's body either, had you? If he chose the sea, we shall never find it. San Pablo has many sharks. Rien ne va plus. No more bets, ladies and gentlemen. He was here almost every night. Sometimes he won, sometimes he lost. Mostly, he lost. <laughs> All the girls were crazy for Senor Winfield. He was so generous. The Lupe gave a gold bracelet. Peter, diamond watch, and to me, a look, senor. Real stones. Feel them. I'll take your word for it. Thank you very much. What are you doing here? This is Mr. Winfield's bungalow. Mr. Winfield is dead. I live here now. Let me go. I seem to have seen you somewhere before. You were at police headquarters. You wanted to see Senor Otis. Yes, I remember you. You wanted to find out about some man who was missing. That's right. I wanted to see him about Arthur Winfield. Oh? Huh? What is your interest in Mr. Winfield? He was my friend. Mr. Winfield had many friends in this town. I know what you mean. I know the stories they're telling. They're lies. He was a good man. When he was here, he worked all the time. He was not at the casino. He did not go gambling. He spent no money on women. It would be nice to believe that. Unfortunately, I've been doing some checking up. And for a man who's never done any of these things, he had an almost classical reputation in wine, women, and song. None of these stories is true. I know. I could prove it. Where are his letters, his papers? There must be something he left to some evidence to prove what he was really like. Is that what you're looking for? Yes. What is it to you? I told you he was my friend. He must have been a very good friend, Miss... Uh... My name is Vargas, Raquel Vargas. And believe me, Miss Vargas, all the evidence is against him and there's plenty of it. You're blind. Stupid! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
How do you feel? Thank you. Get your drink. What was all that? I don't know. Who are the men? I've never seen them before. I've been expecting something like this ever since Arthur disappeared. Here you are. Drink that. All right. Miss Vargas, we better put each other straight. Let's start from the beginning again. My name is Drake. Very well, Mr. Drake. But the most important thing is for you to believe that Arthur was a good man. In spite of what all those people told me tonight? They lied to you. All of them? All of them. That would mean that half of San Pablo was ganging up on one man. It hardly seems likely. I knew Arthur Winfield better than anyone else in the world. He was my husband. My mother and father are old. Arthur was not in my religion. It would have broken their hearts. And nobody suspected that you were husband and wife? Nobody. We were not married in San Pablo. And you had no inkling? Of what, Mr. Drake? That your uh, husband contemplated suicide. My husband did not kill himself. He was murdered. <laughs> That's government house. Most of the federal agencies are in there. Which is Arthur's office? The window to the left of the door. He shared it with Jose Santiago. Oh, yes, I know Jose. I've spoken with him already. He told me he'd worked with your husband. Now, you said the day that Arthur disappeared, he told you he'd made a sensational discovery? Yes. I remember he kissed me goodbye. It was the last time. Strange that uh, Jose never mentioned seeing him that day. Perhaps Arthur never reached the office. Or perhaps Jose is covering something. No. He's one of my dearest friends. It was he who introduced me to my husband. You can rely on Jose. I'll have another talk with him anyway. Mrs. Winfield. First time anyone has ever called me that. Mr. Drake, I want very much for you to find out what happened to my husband. But whatever it was he discovered, it cost him his life. Don't let it cost you yours. All right. I'll be careful. You stay here till I get back. What is the point of going on and on? I told you everything I know, senor. So far, Jose, you've told me precisely nothing. Please, I cannot help you. But you've helped me a great deal. But I told you nothing. You said so yourself. Oh, yes, but sometimes eyes and uh, hands are more eloquent than a tongue. Now, what is it, Jose? What are you holding back? Nothing. Please go. And you say that Raquel is your very dear friend? She is my then friend. Then help her. What is it you're afraid of? There are some things in San Pablo. It's better not to know. I tried to warn Arthur. You tried to warn him, did you? Oh, please, Mr. Drake. I'm a married man. I have a children. Look, I can't help you. I'm sorry. Raquel and Winfield were married. She was his wife. And now she's expecting his child. Please, look at the door. And close the shade. Every day, I would take in forms for Arthur to sign. Many forms, applications. Each time, he signed them all. <laughs> he trusted me. I was told to slip a blank piece of paper beneath the documents and obtain his signature. I was made to do it. Suicide note, that's how it was framed. He didn't know to what use it would be put. That was Winfield's death warrant. You surely knew it wasn't going to be put to any good use. I didn't know they were going to kill him. I had to do it, believe me. We have to leave here, my family. Who made you do it, Jose? That I can't tell you. I've said enough already. Why do they want Arthur out of the way? 
that I was not told. But you have ideas? Well, uh, I'm only guessing. I think it had something to do with the vaults. What vaults? The gold vaults. This country's reserves of gold are kept in a strong room right underground. Arthur, he'd been there the day he disappeared. He was very excited about something. You say what? Not to me, but it was something he found in the vaults which made it necessary to get him out of the way. I am sure of that. You've told me all you know, Jose. All I know. Uh, thanks. I'll be in touch. <laughs> Listen to me, Senorita Vargas. What do you expect to get by making all this trouble? It won't bring back your boyfriend. You know, he committed suicide. I don't believe that. And neither does Mr. Drake. Doesn't he? All these stories about Arthur have been invented. Does Senor Drake believe that too? He does now. You're a mischief maker, Senorita Vargas. You're going to disappear, Frasicla. Sell 11. No, I have done nothing wrong. Just for a little, until things blow over. A year or two, huh? The American, he's here to see you. Ah, uh, uh, show him up. Uh, get rid of her through that door. Mr. Drake, sir. Welcome, Mr. Drake. Oh. Come in, come in. Thank you very you much. You will have a drink. Oh, no, not for me, thanks. Uh, I'll have a smoke, though, if I may. Oh, do, do. I'm pleased to see you have taken advantage of our local attractions. Attraction? Senorita Vargas is very beautiful now. I understand she came to your place last night. Congratulations on your very efficient spy system. Ah, other countries have spy systems. We have uh, police intelligence. Oh, yes, of course, I should have known. I suppose your intelligence told you that she was attacked last night just outside my bungalow. Ah, very distressing. I've already started the investigation personally. Yes, she seems to have had some more trouble since then, too. She's vanished from my car outside Government House. A girl like that will come and go as she pleases, Mr. Drake. You cannot expect her to remain constant for you. No, oh, of course not. I suppose she hasn't been in to see you today. No, uh, I have not had that pleasure today. You realize that she was Mr. Winfield's girlfriend. Oh, so she says, but I don't know whether to believe her or not. Oh, yes, that part of her story is true. I guess it is the only part that is. Tell me, how did you get on at the government house? Oh, yes, I had a long conference with a man called Jose Santiago. That's why I'm here. He claims that he's made some new discoveries regarding the disappearance of Mr. Winfield. What new discoveries? Oh, he claims that he was murdered. If you listen to every rumor you hear in this town, he claims here. that he has evidence. He says uh, Winfield had made a sensational discovery before he disappeared. What sort of discovery? Oh, he wouldn't say. He was very scared, very frightened. He wouldn't talk, said there were too many people about. That's why I arranged to meet him tonight at 8 o'clock in his office. And do you want me to come with you? Oh, no, I just wanted you to know so you could keep an eye on him. He's very scared of uh, something or someone. I don't know. Ah, it was very wise of you to come to see me. Have no concern. And I'll deal very well with Jose Santiago. I'm obliged. I knew you would. You heard? Yes, every word. And you know what you have to do? But of course. This is another case that I shall have to investigate personally. to get out the back way. Is that proof enough for you? Mr. Ambassador. It's enough for me, Drake, but we'll have a tough time convincing their government. I think I'll arrange for you to meet the Minister of Finance. 
Oh, there you are, Mr. Minister. Ortiz is the only man who could have known where Jose Santiago would be at 8 o'clock. But I warned President Montoya long ago, but he would not listen. I told him Police Commissioner Ortiz was corrupt and should be removed from office. You see, what concerns us, sir, is that our representative, Mr. Winfield, disappeared after inspecting the gold vaults, and we rather suspect... But now you have me worried, Mr. Drake. No, no. Nothing can be wrong. Our vaults are of the most modern construction. Six stories below ground, proof against fire and theft. I, uh, I should like your permission to go down to those vaults, sir, if you can arrange it. I'll do even better, Mr. Drake. I will accompany you. What's more, I will arrange for Ortiz to be there as well. I'm obliged. It should be interesting to see his reactions. Thank you very much. All right, leave us. I do not understand, Mr. Minister. Why do you require me? I'll let you know in a moment, Ortiz. We may not be in North America, Mr. Drake, but we still have the latest security equipment. Drop gate. Mind if I take a look? Of course. There you are, you can see for yourself. Everything is in order. Appears to be all right. Mind if I try a little experiment? <laughs> Safe of the most modern construction. Proof against fire, burglary, and everything else, and all just to protect a heap of lead. Senor Ortiz. Well, you can explain away my death, but how about your Minister of Finance? I have no intention of killing the Minister. He and I are old friends. Minister of Finance and the Commissioner of Police. An almost infallible combination. Turn around. Put up your hands. All right. It's all right. There's no gun. Then it would be foolish to resist, Mr. Drake. I might have disappeared the way Mr. Winfield did. Oh. Uh, Quite a crowd here, Mr. Minister. Try to explain this to the people of San Pablo. Oh, what a pleasant surprise, Miss Vargas. Oh, Mrs. Winfield, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I told my parents they were not angry after all. Oh, incidentally, I owe you an apology, yes, Mrs. Senor, Winfield. Senor, your plane, please hurry. Uh, yes, but I'm on my way. To get Jose's help, I had to tell a little lie. I said that you were expecting a child. I hope you don't... But you didn't lie, Mr. Drake. What? That's the one thing I kept back from you. I should still have someone to love. Oh, that's marvelous. Congratulations. Senor, I'm delighted. Your plane. Yes, of course, I'm on my way. I'm going now. Uh, goodbye, and uh, good luck. Oh. 